The purpose of the medical genetics evaluation is in fact quite similar to almost any subspecialty assessment in medicine, to try to make a medical diagnosis that will inform treatment, management, and counseling. In the medical genetics evaluation, counseling is particularly unique in that the centerpiece is genetic counseling. That is, the ability to give the family some sense of recurrence chance in future pregnancies. The evaluation would include the, the pregnancy history, the birth history, all of the medical aspects, things like medications and allergies, uh, and most importantly, a multi-generational family tree, because sometimes the family history will give us some insight into the cause. In a medical genetics evaluation, the family history and a history related to birth defects, sometimes even minor, are particularly helpful in trying to make a diagnosis. Regarding microarray and related testing, I think that is probably the most important test currently to consider in the evaluation of a child with developmental delay and autism spectrum disorder. It has become my practice to routinely discuss that option with all families who have a child with either of those two presentations, delay or autism. Finding a normal result on CGH microarray is almost as important as finding an abnormal result. If we detect a normal result, we then have taken out of the picture a number of important chromosomal conditions that cause developmental delay and autism spectrum disorder. Finding a normal result also brings us to the question of looking for other conditions that in fact are normal on an array and on Fragile X testing. If we're able to make a specific medical diagnosis with an abnormal test result, then we have a number of advantages in helping to inform care. First, having a diagnosis tells us about the natural history of the condition at hand, which often can, in, can include other medical problems that we'd want to search for. Secondly, if we have a diagnosis, we really don't have to usually do any additional medical tests, like often we can save performing an MRI or another imaging study. And thirdly, having a diagnosis helps us with this notion of having recurrence chances for the family and future pregnancies for the condition at hand. If a family has been evaluated with testing and a medical genetics evaluation and no diagnosis is made, I would routinely say that it is valuable to be seen again in a year or two years to revisit the question. First, because new conditions are being described on a monthly basis, and secondly, our technologies, including microarray, are only going to get more sensitive, better.